Hello, welcome to my digital solutions assignment and this is my game Balloon Darts. So if we start off with the starting screen we can see that we have two options. We can go to the menu where we can save our data, we can restart and we can exit. Uh, and we also have our difficulty selector so we can select easy, medium, hard or impossible. So we can see that with the design of the user interface uh, I've gone with a very simplistic and minimalistic design, less is more. Um, and if we go to play the game, we can see that this text comes up saying us to select the difficulty first because we obviously can't play without a difficulty. So we'll go up here and let's just say we select easy. And we can see now our uh, difficulty is selected to easy and we can press play. And here is the easy level and this is where it starts. So we can begin to pop balloons. So we can start off with 10 ammo and we pop, pop. And if say if we miss a balloon, miss comes up and our score goes down. And we can keep popping, and you know, and here we go, boom, boom. And when our ammo gets to zero, got one ammo left, hit it, we blow it past the level, okay, for the next level. Oh, look, we can see that we've also hit a game record. So we can see that the best player was no one before me, because I'm the first one to play it, and the high score is eight. So if I just put in my name, Harry, okay, we can see that. Uh, I am now the best player in this game, this level, easy, and we can see that my high score is 8. Now that won't be changed unless someone else beats my score. We can see that we've got uh, data saved, so you press OK, and we move on to the medium difficulty. And we can obviously see here that balloons moving faster, we've got to get more, more ammo as well, we're going down, we also have to pass, and obviously there's no one scored, and let's get this, oh look, we passed again, oh look, we got another game record, let's just say my name's Jack, okay, now Jack has the high score, and he's got a high score of 19, we've got data saved, and obviously we move on to hard, and they obviously get faster and faster and faster, anyway, enough of that, alright, so if we have a look at the start screen code, we can actually see that I've just got my pick balloons in the background, how they just move down at negative 5, um, on this timer, timer 1, uh, and we can also see that here we've just got, this is how they loop, and um, here we have, we can see, this is the difficulty selector, so, you know, if they select the easy difficulty, then it's going to show the easy form, and it's going to hide the, um, this current form, this start screen, and that's the exact same with all the levels, medium, hard, and impossible. Anyway, if we come over here and we have a look at the, um, just the normal level code, we can see that um, we've declared our um, variables at the top and then we can see whenever the form loads, as soon as it loads up, we are going to get um, the um, saved data, the high score from um, the text file and we're going to load that up into the high score and play our name. And we can see here, this is again just how the, pit, pit, um, the balloons move up on the screen on timer one. Um, here is public sub called win. This decides whether we have won or not. You know, if we win, um, we move on to the next level. If we've achieved a high score, then it'll ask for our name and stuff, and it'll save it here. Um, we can also see down here that um, we've also got, uh, if the balloon is clicked, then we're going to have the pop icon come up, and uh, we're obviously going to lose an ammo, and we're going to gain a point and that's just the same for each balloon, balloon 2, balloon 3, and that just repeats over and over again. And then here is where um, if um, we miss the balloon, so if it goes beyond the um, the limits of the form, then we're going to have the miss picture come up. It's going to be visible equals true, and uh, we're also going to lose a point, so minus 1. Uh, and that's the same again for balloon pick 4, 3, and so on. And here are just our timers in which they make the miss and pop icons come up for. So these control how long they um, appear for. And I have already set them via the timers on the design screen. So that's pretty much it. The other code for all the other levels like medium, this code is the exact same as the easy code. The only thing that only difference is the place where the high scores are sco uh, stored and the uh, interval at which the balloons move up, making them faster. So that's it. Thank you for listening.